Do you use toys? <laughs> do we use toys in the bedroom? When did we first do the deed and was it awkward? <laughs> we Exclusive first... information here. Oh no, it's not so bad. <laughs> Take <laughs> 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 care, guys. Hi. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> to the girls we just met, if you're watching this, you just made our day. <laughs> guys, I've had a coffee and I'm a little bit shaky and I haven't eaten in about five hours. So I haven't had a coffee and I'm shaking because I haven't eaten. So this is our favourite type of food. Yeah. Like if we could eat this every day, we would. Over any McDonald's, oh, this is just like. Look at how good this looks. Show yours again because I feel oh. like. What's, What's my family? Welcome, Welcome back, back to a brand. Brand new video. Another video. <laughs> Try that again. Why do you do this every time? I don't know. What's, What's the family's family? family? Welcome back, back to a brand new video. video. We want to have our lunch and answer some of the most TMI questions you guys have asked us about our relationship. And there's some TMI questions. Like, there's mm. some stuff that we're not going to include because it was a bit too TMI and a bit too, like, why do you need to know that? Some of the questions we got on Instagram were like, what the but <laughs> they, It actually made my jaw drop, some yeah. of the questions. So, yeah, we're going to be answering a bunch of TMI questions about our relationship that you guys would never know. And I'll be honest, if you're under 16, and close your ears or go off this video because <laughs> you're gonna see you're gonna hear some stuff that we haven't really spoke about before mm. stuff that's a bit too tmi stuff that the older 16 above will be like i want to know that mm. anyone that's below that you don't need to know <laughs> when did we first do the deed and was it awkward <laughs> When do we exclusive <laughs> information here we um first oh no it's not so bad okay we, we first did the deed the very first day that we met the very first day we met <laughs> you know what like they say like oh when you meet someone you shouldn't really like go for that straight away but we loved each other yeah we like knew that connection was there it depends on the circumstance and for us that connection was there on the first in, within the first few hours that we met 100 <laughs> percent. it was like it was there i knew you were my dream girl mm -hmm. so what was the point in waiting mm -hmm. i was like, i'm not gonna wait for that like we could, we're in a hotel room by ourselves we're a little bit drunk let's just do it it was amazing <laughs> and was it awkward not at all no it wasn't not at all and there was even music involved wasn't there there was a bit of music and it was um yeah i'm not gonna tell you the song because that's, <laughs> that's probably too much information <laughs> we just literally pressed shuffle on no Spotify. we didn't i requested a certain song oh you did yeah i didn't know that i just literally said to you no i put the song on didn't i oh. i chose it well this time i just thought that was like just happened no, i was no, like no. that's just like what a great timing i chose that song on purpose ah uh, so you, so so you plan so you plan to meet me that night and you plan to make that happen basically Basically. That's what she did. <laughs> okay, next question. When was the first time that you showered together? The yes. second time we met. Second time we met. <laughs> in another hotel. Mm. I was nervous, you know. You were so nervous. I was nervous. I don't know why I was so nervous. I was like, this is just, it's the second time we've met. We're in the it's, shower. It's a very vulnerable, like, situation. Like, you're not under the covers in bed. It's like, you're just standing there um, naked. And the this thing person. is, I'll be honest, for a guy, is she going to yeah, think... Yeah, you were scared that your willy was too small. <laughs> Every guy just gets nervous because it's like a... When you get nervous, it shrivels up. When you... <laughs> <laughs> when you're cold, it shrivels when up. When a girl has her legs together, you can't see that area. Mm. With a guy, it's just there. Mm. So it's a bit vulnerable. We're just hanging out. Yeah, it's just hanging out. Current... Oh, wait, let me finish my mouth all. <laughs> Current birth control method. Oh, I can... I can just keep eating. You can answer this one. I don't like the word, but condoms. Everyone that's been following me and us and our journey with my issues with birth control, I'm staying well away from any hormonal birth control. So they're actually making like a yeah. con contraception male pill. They have. You're gonna see they like loads of loads past. of males running around like just crazy motherfuckers. Yeah. Guys okay. are already crazy, but then they're gonna be even more crazy <laughs> when this pill comes out. Yeah. And as well as that, also using a app called Natural Cycles, where I take my temperature every morning and it like tracks my like mm. ovulation and. Everything like that, mm -hmm. so I know what's going on with my body. Mm -hmm. I don't think we've ever done a video where we've sat actually eating, and I feel like I'm struggling because all I want to do is just shove so much food in my mouth. I want to do so many zoom ins of your mouth, just like it's gonna be. Mm. Mm. Get a zoom in of that, Harry. No. Future Harry, zoom in on that. <laughs> this one's quite juicy, and this popped up a lot. This question popped up quite a lot, and I was like, why do you guys want to know that? But I guess it's obviously a common question you guys want to ask. So the question is, do you use? toys <laughs> do we use toys in the bedroom i feel awkward answering this one because it's like it's such an intimate thing i don't like being so open about like our intimate life well that's what this video is about i know that's but it's like because it's just i don't know okay well the answer is 
We're gonna Hell answer to it. the yeah, we do. <laughs> we got to do things that spice things up in the bedroom, and that's one of them. Mm -hmm. Do we sleep naked? We do. Yeah. We do sleep naked. I've always slept naked we've, my whole life. We've slept naked from the day we met. Yeah. We <laughs> like, but that's the comfiest thing. I can't mm. wear pants. I can't wear pajamas. I just get so sweaty. Like mm. if I'm wearing. Something, you do wear pajamas sometimes. Oh yeah, if I'm on my period. Oh yeah. I have to. I have to wear pants. Mm. If I wore pajamas to bed. It would quite possibly be the biggest ick. I think that's actually such an ick. Oh yeah, that is. Is an that ick. an ick for a girl? A, a guy for a guy to wear pajamas to bed. <laughs> yeah. Imagine like, the night you met me, and I just whipped out some pajamas, <laughs> and I was like, "Hey, baby, but this is me. My... I'm gonna go to bed." That would be really icky. And let's get intimate oh, in my pajamas. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be so bad. Any guy out there? A little bit of advice: if you meet a girl, don't wear pajamas. Yeah. I feel like it would be the biggest ick they will ever see, it will. and uh, chances are they won't see you again. So <laughs> don't do that. When? Do you want kids? And are you currently trying? That's a that's a good question. That's a very TMI question. That's a very TMI question. That's probably the most TMI out of this whole list. Because I'd I, say I, so I look well. at that like it's really personal. Yeah, same. Like, are we trying for a baby? Which is why, like, I'm not gonna fully answer that question. I don't think I wanna fully answer that. Um, but we will say we are ready for a baby to come into our life whenever mm -hmm. the universe allows that to happen. Whenever the universe gifts us our beautiful child, yeah. we will be happier than ever. If it's tomorrow, mm -hmm. if it's in a year's time. But like, yeah, we are ready. So to put it short and sweet, we're ready for a baby whenever. Having a baby is such like a, a special moment in your life. And I feel yeah. like when it comes to the time we are pregnant, you guys will know. And I don't want to like talk about it too much and be like, I, I just don't know. I don't like it. I don't mm. know what it is. I just don't. When it happens, it happens. And I promise you guys, you'll find out when it yeah. happens. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. How many times a week do we do the deed? <laughs> That's a tricky question because it's like. It varies. Mm, it varies. Like not every week is the same. Sometimes every... we're really busy. Sometimes we're really tired. I'd say on average three to four times a week yeah okay this one's for you okay this one's not for me mm -hmm. does size matter for a girl does size matter generally speaking no because why it's not like oh this is really tmi <laughs> the bigger the more painful it is mm. i feel like this is something girls don't talk about enough this is extremely tmi and i don't know why i'm saying this on the internet but the bigger it is the more painful it is for a girl which then means it's less of a good experience basically mm. like would I'm, you say your experience is good yeah, you don't, you don't, you're... So you're saying my, my penis is small then? No. That's what she's saying. I'm saying my experience is amazing. No, I don't even want to say that shit online. That's too much. I'm <laughs> keeping that in. This is so awkward. If you guys like this kind of content, I don't understand why you would. If you do, we'll do it again. For me right now, this is like... Whoa, Hello. this was weird. What is the most disgusting thing we've done in front of each other? Disgusting thing? Oh, you shut yourself. Shut. You shut your pants. I did. She shut her pants, guys. I shit my pants. <laughs> There's a reason. She was farting throughout the whole night. No. And we were watching we were watching videos and she farts and she goes, oh my god. And I was like, what? You Give I just, some context. I just shit myself. <laughs> Give some context. You've made that sound like I literally just decided well, to that, poo my pants. That was what it felt like. No, it wasn't. <laughs> the context of the story is we just had over 30 hours of traveling back from Australia. I hadn't slept. My body does not do well with not sleeping. I hadn't slept. I was ill. It gave me diarrhea. Mm. Came home. I had no control over my bowels. I was in bed feeling ill. I'd been on the toilet. And I farted and like shit did come out it's okay and i couldn't control it you shake your pants i did it's okay. yeah i'm quite proud of it long story short she shat herself yeah that's it my most embarrassing no thing... no you can't answer for yourself <laughs> okay good what's my most embarrassing thing no I... it's disgusting was it happened the other day was it <laughs> the other day you think that's the most disgusting thing mm. that i've ever done oh that's not too bad guys i farted on my hands and i no. like no harry went like this <laughs> he got these fingers he put them on his Bum hole. No, I just put my bum. No, you put your fingers like this I on didn't your touch bum my hole, bum hole. Farted on them <laughs> and put them on my nose, mm. and it smelled like cheese. It didn't smell like cheese. It though, smelled like it? pooey cheese. You made it like I stuck my no. hand up my arsehole. Like yeah, I literally like did. put my hand near my bum, you farted, did. and it was just a bad fart. It was disgusting. And you smelt it it's in disgusting. like, and you smelt it in 4K. That's what you did. <laughs> In I, had ultra four, I had a 4D experience. Yeah, yeah, she had a 4D experience with my fart. To be honest, that's the bad, worst thing I've done. That's not too bad. What can you think of what? Um, no, that's a good thing, right? You shot yourself and I farted. That's it. You're no. worse. You farted on your fingers and put it on my nose uh, and it smelled like cheese. I definitely think shitting yourself is worse. No. So, <laughs> that's so disgusting. Last question. Yeah. And I feel like this is quite important to like 
no to help mm -hmm. other people if that makes sense mm -hmm. how do you not get bored of each other i would say in what way our like, whole relationship in just, general I, and I think, sexually i and think everything. yeah the question literally just says how do you not get bored of each other? so i guess they mean like our relationship like mm -hmm. in the bedroom everything have long-term goals make effort to do things together keep things fun in the bedroom and new, new. i think i think that's it yeah. i think just if you don't have when any you goals you find your person you just find your person and you just like well, you just want to be with them all the time and if you don't have any goals like long-term goals like me and rosie have always had goals like we, since the day we met we always mm. wanted to start up a business we wanted to start youtube we wanted to start tiktok we wanted Life to move australia. to australia we want to have a family we want to have yeah. we wanted to have two dogs like and there's so much like we've got so many more businesses we're going to make over the next two years but we're just always doing stuff yeah. that like it keeps our relationship fun yeah and like i think it's important to always like have adventures together like don't just be boring do stuff together whether it's adventures holidays just doing fun stuff not trying too hard like don't force it if you don't want to do it don't do it but like you both should have that chemistry where yeah you, you want to do fun things together yeah exciting. and i feel like that's what we've always had like since the day we met we we're always like we had goals to do so many things because if all you do in your relationship is like the same things on repeat like just like stay in bed and like watch a movie and stuff obviously there's nothing wrong with that in the first month there's no nothing wrong with that no but, but after if a couple do months that, it gets a bit boring on repeat every yeah. time you see each other for like a year you will eventually get to a point where it's just like boring like you just you just need to do more things with yeah 100 percent. but guys that is the end of the video and we answered some extremely tmi questions we that did. i didn't even expect to be answered i didn't online. i honestly didn't think so and like we even have some more tmi questions mm -hmm. that we didn't even answer yes so if you guys worse ones yes if you guys want us to do it again make sure you like this video and leave a comment because who knows we might do a part maybe. two maybe but we love you guys so much and we'll see you in another video peace, peace.